What is up guys, Clemonade here. Today, I am in Farmington, Arkansas at the Creekside Disc Golf Course. This course was put in a little less than a year ago, um, but it's probably the second most popular course in the area behind JB Hunt. It might even be the most popular right now because it's, it's tough, man. There's a couple par fours. There's some tight wooded fairways. You gotta throw a bunch of different lines. Um, it's super duper fun. So, I thought it would be fun to try to birdie all the holes backhand and uh, forehand. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, guys, here we go. Hole one, par four, 704 feet. I'm throwing my bio defender here, just trying to get to the left. You know, if you're too far right, you're not going to have a gap shot. Um, it's basically just throw as far as you can. With my forehand, I like to be really far left. So I have a forehand going into the bucket. Um, there's a shorter tee pad out there that's about 350 feet or so, maybe 300 feet. I'm going my overstable explorer here. Um, it went a little deep, but I was really happy with that shot. Here I'm going my lucid felon. I'm just trying to throw this thing as straight as I can. And I executed it perfectly. And actually skip forward and hit the pole. That's where the Explorer landed. It was a little deep, but, you know, a little 15-footer, pretty easy. And the felon was parked. All right, here we got hole two. It's a par three, 297 feet. It's pretty much just dead straight, but there's also this hyzer route if you're a righty. Or for me, I throw a big forehand. And there's one tree you have to miss. And so you just, I just try to go along of it. Um, that was a war horse. This is my fuse. And I'm just throwing it dead straight at the basket. It kind of goes uphill and then downhill. Um, both of them were long, but they were they were really good shots. All right, hole three. It's par three, 379 feet. I'm going war horse. Um, this shot's kind of similar to the last hole, but you just got to go further. You got to push dead straight for that shot. I'm going to fuse right here, and I'm honestly just trying to go down this gap because the basket's about 60 feet left where I landed um, and then make a long putt. The back end's really hard for me on this hole, so I always go forehand. But sometimes you just got to give yourself a putt so you can make it. Uh, my forehand landed. It was a little left, a little sawed off, but this is about 20 feet. And that's sometimes what you got to do on this hole. Hole four. Um, this is one of my favorite holes in the course. It's a par four. It's super tight off the tee. Then it opens up and then it gets back to being tight. Uh, for the backhand, I go explore, and I'm honestly just trying to throw it down there in the middle of the fairway, 300 feet, and then do it again. This is a getaway, and I'm just letting the disc do all the work. And the forehand is how you attack this hole. It's how I do. Um, so, I'm just going to throw the explorer again. Just try to throw it dead straight. I could throw a true through a fuse, but I feel like the explorer is just more controllable. I don't have to throw it as hard. And it was really good. Maybe about 15 feet short. This is where my getaway landed. You can see it was quite a bit further. Um, I'm going harp. And there's cabbage on the right and the left. But the left's a little more manageable. It's about a 25 footer. That's where the explorer landed. This basket is deceiving. It's always a little further than I think it is. Five. It's a par three. It's 388 feet. This may be one of the tougher rules to be on on this course. I'm going war horse. It's dead straight. That's a really beaten war horse. And skip it out to the left. Leave myself a 35 footer. This is that same explorer. I'm just hides are flipping it. And it caught a little bit of cabbage right there. So it knocked, I don't know, maybe five or 10 feet off. So I was a little shorter than I wanted, but. Gotta give yourself putts sometimes. 
This is honestly one of the harder holes on the course, just because you have to throw so straight. We got hole six. Um, this is 300 feet. It's a pretty dead straight. Uh, slight turnover. I'm going fuse. Uh, it's kind of like a right to left slight turnover. You can see me there off in the distance. And then I go triple X for my second shot. Just trying to come in a little short. If you go long, you can get into some trouble. And I usually always go fuse on this hole. Um, just because if you skip, you see where I'm at. I could have been walked worse off. We got hole seven. It's par three, 330 feet. You're kind of forced to go left of the tree right in front of you. And from this view, that tree doesn't look like it's in the way, but it is very much in the way. Uh, I went explore, trying to just hold it on a pure hyzer and let it float as far as it could right. It's a pretty safe play. The forehand's a little more risky, but it's what most people are going to be doing. Um, it's probably easier to get there. I love this out of my hand. I knew it was in. Hey hey, you. Yeah. Those guys were on the next hole and they loved it. Let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Sweet felon, old school. Yeah, I love that felon. I kind of just put it in the bag and it's been money. This is where my explorer landed. This is almost exactly where I land every time on this hole. Good hole. Here we got hole eight. It's a par three, it's 423 feet. This one is also one of the harder par threes to get out here, it's just a long. Um, very difficult for a forehand for me, so righties are gonna have a lot of trouble. You wanna end a little bit right. It goes into that gap and it goes right. And then there's water maybe 20 feet behind the basket. This is a getaway. This is what I normally throw on this hole. It's, it's a perfect lefty hole. And that was that was a pretty good shot. It's about 20, 25 feet short. That's where you'd want to land on this hole. And this is where my warhorse landed. I got pretty lucky hitting cabbage and stopping on the edge. We got hole nine. It's a little shorty ace run. Uh, there's danger right behind the basket, though. That was my justice. I was trying to skip that thing in. I'm going to flippy judge. It kind of caught some trees right there and knocked it down, but really, you'd rather be short than long on this. And any deeper than... Sometimes where I'm at is underwater if it rains. But yeah, that's the front nine. I appreciate it, guys. The back nine will be up soon.